Hi, my name is Lars Sørensen, and we're here at the Sci Computing Conference 2016 in the center of London, next to the water, close to the airport. We're in the city life here, so maybe some planes are coming by. And we're talking to participants of our uh, conference, uh, people that send in papers, our keynote speakers, and we're just getting their thoughts on the conference, getting their inspiration, or they're sharing their knowledge with us. If you want complete keynotes, we also have them available on our YouTube channel, so please check them out. And we're going to talk to Nicola Bobola from a uh, University of Um. The, 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 the name counted out? Bobalo. Yeah. Beautiful name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You're working in Germany yes, um, uh, for this University of, of, of Um. Yes. And uh, we were just talking because uh, we were talking about uh, computing, uh, yeah. machines getting smarter. We want machines to interact with us. And you're saying, well, actually, we have a problem. We're not already smart enough and know each know much enough about our humans to explain the machine how mm. they have to interact, right? Is it yes, pretty much the that, That's pretty much the explanation. So, so what do we need to do to learn more about how, um, how so we work? We actually need to do more ground research, elementary research about what affects human behavior. Why are they sometimes kind of sh uh, faster or slower in their speech or why do they uh, kind of gesture more or less, especially when they interact with machines who are obviously not human yet. So um, we are kind of trying to do this elementary research on what affects human behavior with machines. Well, let, let's say if I was, uh, I was going to a vending machine, I want to buy tickets for something, yeah. uh, how would the machine be different in uh, interacting with me? Okay, so our goal is basically that the machine kind of understands that you're in a hurry, your train is going in five minutes, and so it doesn't show you all these extra options on the screen, it just shows you the elementary uh, options and you get fast and easy through to your goal, or if you're kind of uh, new to the country, you don't really understand the interface, you're not really certain uh, what do you need to touch next, the machine also kind of recognizes it and instead just starts to talk with you so you can right. speak with the machine yeah. instead. And so you're more happier, more satisfied with the interaction with the computer. Now, and you're presenting one of the papers uh, uh, here, so and, and in which way uh, should I think? Uh, which direction is this going? Are we just teaching the mm. machine to uh, um, to re really read my gestures and uh, maybe my heart rate or stuff like that? Or is it more that it recognizes that my phone is from a different country? What kind of sensors and, and censoring uh, are, are we using mm. yeah. to read? So um, ideally it should be a system that is independent of external information. So um, I as a human also don't know where your phone is from or to which time zone your uh, watch is set and uh, equally the machine or the vending machine should just by visual and auditory cues or by the way you touch the screen like is it more hard or softer um, infer the information it needs so it can kind of work independently and also you can then apply the system to any kind of machine you you like it's like this companion and you just plug this uh, option into a computer machine or interface or whatever and it suddenly starts to be smart cool yes. yeah. so uh, if you if you look at where we at right now with technique mm. a lot of things are happening but mm. then you could uh, almost conclude that we were we're pretty much in the beginning, right, of learning machines to interact with us in a more human yeah, uh, well manner. From from the one perspective, like recognizing emotions of of users and stuff, the development is pretty far. I'm pretty impressed with it. But uh, what to infer from it? So how does should the machine react to the information it collected? Um, is still still at the at the beginning. Yeah, we need to do more work there. So I want to thank you for watching and uh, obviously if you like this content don't forget to share it, uh, put up the blue thumb just uh, below our uh, screen and uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and even better you know I would love to meet you in one of our next conferences so make sure to check out our website and see in which uh, date will be uh, close by. We'll do some more London events, we'll be in San Francisco, hopefully you'll join us there to share your knowledge and be connected with all the bright minds at the SCI conference. Thanks for watching.